Talk about frustrating walking your dog and all they want to do is pull on the leash. Well, in this week's My Pet segment, Becky shows us the tool you can use to make your walk in the park a little easier. Good morning. I'm Becky with Service Dogs Inc. And this is Watson. Watson is one of our service dogs in training. And when we first got him, he pulled a whole lot. And he's very big, as you can see. So what we did was utilize a piece of equipment called a head halter. This is a head halter. It's very much like a halter that you would use with horses because you can't use a collar on a horse because it's going to pull you really hard. So this is called, brand is called a comfort trainer. And I want to show you how to fit it first before we use it. So what I'm going to do is put it right over Watson's head. I can undo it here. And then it comes right around like this. You want this back neck band to be tight enough that when you start to pull down, he can't get it off of his nose. But what I like about this brand is that there's a lot of room down here and it doesn't restrict the dog's mouth movement, which is really nice. Now, after we have it fitted properly, we need to make sure that the dog really likes his head halter and that's not a natural thing. Dogs don't like things on their nose. So we associate it with a lot of good things like treats and petting praise. I'll even play with the dogs in it. I'll feed them dinner in it. Anything that that dog really, really likes. I do all of this before I even attach the leash. Because when you attach the leash, it makes the head halter feel more heavy. So now, I'm going to go ahead and attach the leash. It attaches right under the dog's mouth. Right like that. Okay. And now I can show you a little bit of what it's going to look like when you walk with the dog in a head halter. Come on, what? Okay. So if he pulls, I stay still. He's pulling a little bit, I just take a step back. What I never ever do is pull or jerk on the head halter. So you pull only with your body, keep your, your hands nice and close to yourself so that you just redirect by moving in a different way or in a different direction. Yes, I also make sure that he knows it's a good thing when he's staying right beside me. That's exactly what we want. But if you do pull or jerk or yank on the head halter, that will go ahead and hurt the dog's neck. So I hope that this helps you be able to walk your big dog that pulls a lot. And for more information, visit kxen.com.